Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and thanks so much for tuning in. Today's video is gonna be all about favorites. Let's talk about my beauty favorites for the month of September because it's already October. It's a spooky season, I'm so excited, but that's besides the point. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, first up, foundation and concealer while we're at it has been from Rare Beauty. I bought almost everything from this collection and uploaded a review this month if you wanna go check it out. But the things that have really, I mean, there's actually a few things from Rare Beauty that have stuck with me because I picked some particularly autumnal colors, but uh, for foundation and concealer, this is what I've been using every day. I love how thin and buildable the foundation is. It just, it feels like there's nothing there. Makes your skin look radiant. You can build it up to, you know, I still have acne and what is now, I'm sure, mask me. And it gives me enough coverage to really conceal the texture that is coloration. And for anything that it doesn't, and just help out my under eye area, yeah, I go in with the concealer, which is also really hydrating. It's on the thicker side. I mentioned this in my review video. Um, it's a similar consistency to the Pat McGrath, a little bit thinner, but much more hydrating feeling. Then this is actually kind of unusual for me, but because our weather, we're like taking this roller coaster ride into fall, you know, some days it's 70, 60, 90. It started at like 60 today, it's up to 90 now. So for days like that, when I know I might need a little bit something else on my skin because those Rare Beauty uh, foundation and concealer are so hydrating and as a result can move around on my combination skin a little bit, I've actually been loving a setting powder. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder that I actually bought Gosh, it must have been the month before, like August, I think is when I posted my mystery box unboxing and I got it in conjunction with the Flawless Foundation and the Setting Spray. Um, but used with the Rare Beauty products, it's a it's a super nice consistency, very light feeling on the skin. So it, it mattifies and keeps the makeup from moving around where I need it to. I really only apply it in my under eye area and in my T-zone where I tend to as someone with combo skin to get oily um, and, w and where it goes, it just, it sits really nicely. It doesn't dull the natural dewiness of the Rare Beauty too much to where it's like, why didn't I just apply a matte foundation? You know what I mean? It mattifies it and sets it, but doesn't take away the glow that I love so much about those other two products. So this is a really nice lightweight setting powder. Then for the rest of my face, I've really, I've been leaning on a few products, but this has kind of been an all-in-one for me, the Pixi Beauty Nuance Quartet in Honey Nectar. I just talked about this along with a couple of other, uh, another quad and two eyeshadow palettes that I guess they're not new. They've been around for a little bit, but they recently sent me in PR and so I'm just now trying them and my thoughts are overall positive. So this is one I have really been loving. I talk about this in that video too, but basically I love that you get a combination of matte slash satin finishes as well as the shimmery highlighter shades because then you can really customize your blush. If you want to go matte, you can. If you want to make it an actual, you know, glowy blush, you can do that too. Or you can use these as highlighters as well. So I really like the complimentary color palette that this has going on with it and just the versatility in using all of these colors together. Um, however, if I am going for a one and done sort of product, I've really been loving um, the Charlotte Tilbury Cheek to Chic Walk of No Shame blush. I bought the whole set. This is not the first Walk of No Shame product you're going to see um, in this video, but when I bought the uh, her, her holiday palette here, I also got the Walk of No Shame set and this blush is just so gorgeous. You know, on the exterior, you have like a satiny burgundy sort of shade. And then on the interior, you have a pinky gold highlight shade. And I, because I don't mind a glowy blush, you're supposed to swish and pop, swish your brush around the outside and use that around like the apples of your cheeks working it the way back and then pop your brush in that center for the highlight and use that as your highlight. But I, I just take a big old brush and I go in there and I just apply it like I do my normal blush and I love the way it looks on the cheeks. It is such a fall themed color, I think. I mean, the whole collection really is great for fall, which is why this won't be the only product you see in here, but it's beautiful. Now for eyeshadows, I've been, I feel like I've been trying a lot this month, but none of it has kind of stuck with me long term. It's not like these products where once I pick them up, I can't put them down. Eyeshadows, I've just been trying a lot. And while I like them, that's not saying I haven't liked the palettes and shadows that I've tried this month. They're just not favorites territory, if you know what I mean. So I don't really have 
shadow favorite today i'm wearing the charlotte tilbury um eyes to mesmerize in the shade star gold which is surprisingly flattering despite how warm and coppery it looked in the pot i didn't think this would flatter me all that much but i really like it i think this came in the mystery box that i talked about a couple well many videos back but i'll link down below if you want to go check it out so that's what i'm wearing on my eyes today but it's not like i've been wearing anything consistently what i have been really loving is trying new mascaras and some of those have stuck with me namely the l'oreal air volume mega mascara this i recently reviewed and so you can hear all about why i love it there but uh basically it's like an amped up version of my voluminous uh mascara at l'oreal voluminous lash paradise is what it's called and i have been using that for years and years but uh, not no more i'm not gonna say never because i certainly do love it but this just gives me a little bit more of the volume that i love and the same can be said for the charlotte tilbury legendary lashes volume 2 again i got that in that mystery box and so i want to use this up because i do really love it but it is kind of comparable to the l'oreal air volume mega mascara so those are two that i've really been liking and then last up for the lips i love what i'm wearing today this again is from rare beauty and it is one of the matte lip creams in the shade bray a really pretty dusty or soft burnt orange amazing for fall super comfortable on the lips not transfer proof in fact nothing I'm gonna mention today is transfer proof but honestly I don't know I've just I, I guess I wash my mas masks frequently enough to where I you know it comes off in the mask as long as it isn't smudged and smeared all over my face I kind of don't care as much that it gets in my mask maybe that's just me is that gross? I don't know, but I just, I'm sick of not wearing the lips that I love. And so I'm less concerned with things being transfer proof. So um, I have really been loving this. Oh, which I totally forgot. There is another face product that I've also liked. And that is the Rare Beauty. This is one of the matte uh, liquid blushes in the shade Love. Again, a really vibrant burnt orange. Unlike the softer lip shade, this is incredibly pigmented. Um, I, I love this formula so much that it makes me want to pick up a, more of these matte shades because they are so soft and moussey. They feel like nothing on the skin, but boy, do they pack a pigmented punch in here. So I've really been liking that too. Um, and then last for the lips has been the Walk of No Shame Lip Duo. The liner, the lip liner and the lipstick came in that kit that I bought and I, I really love it. It's an interesting bricky, but also kind of a berry red so maybe but it's not a neutral does that make it a neutral red because it's not totally blueberry but it's also not totally orange brick red I don't know it's a mysterious red shade but it is so beautiful for uh the autumn the fall so yeah I don't know what kind of magic she has put in the the color for this but it's awesome. It's beautiful. I'm now realizing as I look at my favorites that this month was kind of like a recap video, like a where are they now, the things that I reviewed over the month. It turns out that many of them I am still loving and using. So I apologize if this is redundant. If you watch those videos, you already know I love these things, but I guess at least you know I love them so much that I have been using them continuously throughout the month. It's not just a first impressions, new love, honeymoon phase sort of fixation with these products. They, they're with me. They're still with me. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye guys.